Hey everyone, we're going to quickly talk about the Model T automobile in the assembly line today. So, this is the Model T automobile. It's the Ford Model T. It's driven in current day in this picture, but it's a very small car, not very wide, very basic. It's one of our first mass produced automobiles. And when I say mass produced, I just mean it's created very, very quickly. So it existed during the 1920s and so many Americans bought this Model T in it and they advertised it this way. It comes in any color you want as long as that color is black. So I don't know how you figure out which one's yours when you're all parked in the same place, but that's the way it was. So it's going to be mass produced by a leader named Henry Ford. And yes, Henry Ford was the owner, the creator of the Ford Motor Company we know today. So that is our Model T automobile. So it's produced very, very quickly because of this process that you see right here. This is what we call the assembly line. And the assembly line is just when we take a complicated task like building a car and we break it down into different steps or different parts. So each person, so first of all, the assembly line will have many, many people on it. And each person on this line is going to do just one important task. So you might have one person who installs the steering wheel. You might have one person who puts on the tires. You might have someone who installs the frame. You might have someone who puts on the windows. And you could do that for every different step of building a car. So instead of having one person build the entire car, which is a huge amount of work, you have each person who does their own task. And that way, the car will be created more efficiently, you have it created faster, and you have workers become specialists in their own step of building the car. So if you were building the whole car by yourself, you have to be a genius pretty much you have to be a master mechanic that can put all this together and those people are going to require a lot of pay a lot of training and there's not going to be a lot of them by having the assembly line you now can have lower skilled workers who are great at the one task that they're doing so they're not going to make a lot of mistakes and they're going to be able to do their job very quickly and very efficiently which is going to create more cars faster so Henry Ford was able to create cars cheaper with the assembly line because cars are created more quickly on this line for all the reasons we just said. Because of that, there are more cars. And anytime there's more of something, the cheaper the price generally goes. So more Americans are going to start buying cars because there's so many of them. And if there's so many of them, they're more affordable. Henry Ford famously said he wants all of his workers to be able to afford a car. So he wants to make sure the people that actually work for him make enough money to afford that car and that the car is cheap enough for them to afford. So in the 1920s, a Model T car is going to be created basically every 10 seconds at the price of $300. And if you couldn't afford that upright, another new innovation called credit, which is buy now pay later pay for it over time not credit cards but just credit um, is going to allow so many people to buy those model t cars so this is just one of the innovations that is going to be created during this time that is going to revolutionize america during the 1920s and still to this day we see that progress and this is largely because of this return to lies I fair economics from this return to normalcy from President Harding. So that's a quick lesson on the assembly line in the Model T. Thanks, guys.